Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Rossi. Today we are going to be making symmetrical butterflies. Let's get started. What you will be needing today is a pencil and eraser. I'm going to use a bunch of different pieces of paper to make a collaged butterfly. So I have all different colored pieces of paper here, a scissor and a glue stick. If you don't have different colored pieces of paper, you can use plain white paper and then color on all of your details using crayons, markers, or whatever art supply you have at home. We're making a symmetrical butterfly today. That means our butterfly is going to be the same on both sides. I'm going to use a lot of different shapes to decorate my butterfly, but you can decorate yours however you would like. So the first step of making our butterfly is going to be the same no matter what kind of paper you're using. If you're using many different colored pieces of paper, you're going to pick what color you want your butterfly's wings to be. So I think I want my butterfly to have pink wings, so I'm going to take my pink paper and use that. If you don't have colored pieces of paper, you can use plain white paper and do the same steps that I'm doing and just color it in instead of using these different colored papers. So with the paper I want to use for my wings, I'm holding my paper horizontally, so it is longest going left to right. I'm going to fold it in half so my corners line up and my edge lines up. It does not have to be perfect, but you can just try your best. So now I can open my paper up like it's a book. Now, with my paper, I'm going to hold it so my folded edge of my paper is on the left. I know it's on the left side because with my left hand I can make an L for left. I want my folded edge on the left side of my hand and the opening side on the right side. With my pencil, I'm going to draw the shape I want my butterfly wings to be. So my butterfly wings are going to be almost like a big sideways M. So I'm going to do a big curvy line that goes out towards the edge of my paper but it's not touching the edge. Big curvy line going out then it's going to go in towards the center and then back out. And my curvy line is going to end back on my folded edge. So if you look at my paper it looks like a big M from the side it opens on the side where my curves are, and my line starts and ends on that folded edge. I'm going to take my scissor, and I'm going to cut this shape out while my paper is folded. This is going to give me a symmetrical pair of butterfly wings. When something is symmetrical, that means it is the same on both sides. So when I cut out these wings, they are going to be the same on both sides since my paper is folded down the center. So now when I open that up, I have beautiful butterfly wings that match on both sides. And now to decorate my butterfly wings, if you don't have extra colored pieces of paper, you can draw shapes on both sides to match. Or if you have extra colored pieces of paper, you can use all of your different colors and cut out different shapes that you would like to decorate your wings with. Now when I'm decorating my wings, I want them to be the same on both sides. So whatever decoration I add on this side, I'm going to add the same decoration on this side. So they are symmetrical or the same on both sides and they line up when I fold it in half. So I think I'm going to add some orange circles to my wings. I think I want one orange circle in each wing. So I'm going to draw one orange circle and I'm going to fold my paper in half. So now when I cut it out, I will get two orange circles. I made sure to leave my paper folded as I cut. So now I am left with two matching circles that I could put at the top of my wings. And if I want to do two more circles on that same orange piece of paper, I can draw another circle, leaving it folded. I can cut that circle out. 
to decorate my wings with it. So now I have another pair of circles I can add down here. With my glue stick, I'm going to glue down those circles that I just cut out so I don't lose them. So I'm just putting glue on the back and sticking it right on my paper. Now on some of our circles, you can still see my pencil lines of where I drew, like on this circle, you can still see the pencil lines of where I drew that circle before I cut it out. I'm gonna make sure I add glue to that side so then when I stick it down, you don't see those pencil lines at all. Now I think I wanna make a nice big yellow body for my butterfly. So on my yellow paper, I'm going to draw a big long oval shape to be my butterfly's body. And I can cut that out with my scissor. I'm not folding my paper in half here because I only need one body for my butterfly. It's gonna go right in the middle. So I don't need to fold my paper in half in order to get two, just need one. Let's see if that's going to fit, that looks perfect. I can add some glue on the pencil line side of my piece of paper. I can see those pencil lines still there. I don't wanna see those. So let's add some glue. I can stick that right on my butterfly wings. I think I wanna add some smaller circles inside my orange circles. So on my yellow paper, I'm going to draw a tiny circle. I am going to, let's cut that piece off, we don't need it. I'm going to fold my paper in half again because I want two matching circles there. And I'm going to cut that circle out. So I have my little circles here. Those are gonna go inside my orange circle. So I put a little bit of glue. There's my other one. And I can stick those right inside there so my wings still match. I think I wanna add some green paper to my butterfly here. So on my green paper, I'm going to cut out a long rectangle and going to fold it in half and then cut it so I get four smaller pieces of green paper. And I'm just going to put those on the sides of my wings like that to add another little decoration. You can decorate your butterfly however you'd like with whatever kind of shapes and designs you want. And like I said, if you don't have all these different colored pieces of paper, you can always add your designs and decorations using your pencil and any kind of material you have to color with. So maybe you wanna use crayons and markers to add decorations to your butterfly. The only important thing today for our project is to make sure that it is the same on both sides. And I think I'm even going to use a marker and add some decorations on my butterfly too. So I'm going to draw them with my pencil first. I'm going to draw two eyes by doing two ovals on my yellow middle piece. I'm adding little eyeballs and some eyebrows on there. I'm going to do some curvy lines on my butterfly's body that I'll trace with my marker and I think I'm going to do a big swirly line on both of my wings so they match and I'll even do one up here too. And now I'm just going to trace over those pencil lines with my marker. If you don't have a Sharpie, you can use any kind of marker, crayon, or colored pencil that you have at your house. That is going to work perfectly fine. I'm going to trace my eyeballs and those eyebrows. And my big swirly lines that I drew up here too. I think I'm going to add some extra little designs in some spots on my butterfly as well and we will give them a smile. My butterfly is almost finished. I think I'm just going to add some antennas on the top. I'm going to fold my black paper in half. 
and I'm going to cut out two curvy lines. And now I have two little antennas I can put at the top of my butterfly also. So I'm just going to stick a little bit of glue on the top of my butterfly's head and stick my antennas on right above the eyebrows that I drew. And my symmetrical collage butterfly is all finished. If you don't have all these different colored pieces of paper, again, you can just draw on your butterfly wing designs after you cut out your butterfly wing shape. We want to try our best to cut out our butterfly wing shape so that we can practice cutting out symmetrical shapes like that. So don't forget to fold your paper in half before you cut out your butterfly. When you're finished, if you'd like to share your project with me, you can take a picture of it and share it with me in the easiest way you can, whether that is email or Google Doc. I would love to see the amazing work you're creating at home. I hope to see you soon. Have fun, try your best, and get creative. Bye! Bye.